Okay, we've recorded our four guitar tracks on our four track demo here and it's time to start processing the sounds. We'll start with guitar one, solo. Let's hear what it sounds like. Return gets me back to the beginning to play. I hit the space bar. Okay, it sounds pretty good. It sounds very dry. I notice I have my reverb uh, not in solo safe mode, so I'm going to put that in solo safe mode so that it will sound even though uh, there's a solo invoked on guitar one. So we should hear reverb now. Okay, that sounds pretty good. This track could probably benefit from a delay, so I'm going to go ahead and set up a delay make my verb 1 track a little smaller so I can see more on the screen here choose verb 1 so that it places the new track right after it go to track menu new create one new stereo auxiliary input create okay let's make it a little bigger so we can see it change it to delay one. Okay, we'll also put it in solo safe mode. And the delay that we're going to use is medium, made by Digi. Let's set it up for, say, 50, 50 milliseconds. I don't want it very busy, so I'm going to put it on both sides at 50 both sides of my stereo. Okay. Set up the input to be the next available pair of buses, which is three and four. Okay, turn the level up a little bit with my automation tool. And I need to send to three and four, bus three and four, from the guitar one track. Turn it up to about two-thirds of the way up usually works pretty well if you've recorded at a decent level. So let's see if we hear delay now. Okay, that's the sound I was looking for. <laughs> 